let's move on to floating rate notes. Recall that the coupon rate on a floating rate note is the reference rate, plus or minus a fixed margin. Notice that the current reference rate is used to set the coupon rate for the subsequent payment. We say that interest is paid in arrears. The margin is fixed based on the credit risk of the issuer, relative to the credit risk of the reference rate instrument at issuance. This margin that is fixed at issuance is called the quoted margin. For example, a two-year $1,000 par semi-annual pay floating rate note can have its reference stated as the 180-day LIBOR rate. At issuance, the 180-day LIBOR is 2% and the quoted margin for this issuer is fixed at 1.7%. So at issuance, we already can determine the coupon rate that will be paid half a year from now, and that is 3.7%. At the next reset date, 180-day LIBOR has risen to 3%. So when we add the fixed quoted margin of 1.7%, the coupon rate for the next payment should be 4.7%. The question at this point is, how do we value the FRN at this point? Thus far, we've been using the method of discounting all future cash flows to the present and sum them up. However, in this case, we do not know the values of all the future cash flows yet. A simplified FRN pricing model is to fix all the future coupons at the most recent rate, which is the latest 180-day LIBOR plus the quoted margin. The same principle applies. Sum up all the future cash flows discounted to the present. The discount rate to apply is the latest 180-day LIBOR rate plus the discount margin. Now, what is the discount margin? The discount margin is the same as the quoted margin at issuance, that is, the credit risk of the issuer relative to the credit risk of the reference rate instrument. In this case, however, the margin is not fixed. The discount margin at issuance should be the same as the quoted margin, but as time goes by, the credit risk of the issuer would have changed. So, for example, the credit risk of the issuer may have improved such that the discount margin has narrowed to just 1.4%, after the first coupon payout. We shall therefore use a rate of 4.4% to discount the future cash flows. So to calculate the value of the FRN, we have three periods to maturity and an interest per period of 2.2%. This is half the discount rate of 4.4%. Payment per period is $23.50. Remember again to half the coupon rate and FV of $1,000. Solve for PV and we get a value of $1,004.31. You're watching an excerpt from our comprehensive animation library. For more videos like these, head on down to prepnuggets.com. At Prep Nuggets, let us do the hard work for you.